Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing Everdale. Yes, we're back with Everdale. Uh, this video is performing fairly well on my channel. People are searching for Everdale content, so I said, you know what? Let's play the local play challenges. And so the first one is Spring Into Action. It's normal difficulty, and each player starts in spring instead of winter. So not really sure how this is going to change the game that much. Other challenges are a little bit more interesting. Um, but maybe the first challenge is just to ease you in there, you know. So we're going to go ahead and get eased in. And we're going to spring into action. So I wonder what um, character I will be this time. Let's see. I wish I was the Turtles. So it's a two-player game three-player game and I am the hedgehogs cool I was really hoping to be turtle I really want I wish why can't I pick the character I am in like I want to be I want to play a turtle you know all right so we got a place a worker if you don't know how to play this game I did do a uh, kind of like a first look of this game it's essentially a worker placement game these are the common goals that we're trying to get um you know, to kind of score a lot of points at the end of the game. So right now we need the Historian and the Ruins. Uh, when achieved, I can reveal five cards and you may draw any or place any beneath this event. And then each card under this event is worth one point. This one is the Courthouse and the Ranger. So capture the Acorn Thieves. When achieved, place up the two critters from your city beneath this event. And for each critter beneath this event, you get three points. This one is Flying Doctor Service. Three VPs for each harvest or gather or repair in your city. Interesting. That's kind of like a, a long, long... You have to kind of get all those characters in a row. Uh, or in your city. Uh, this one is the Evening of Fireworks. When you achieve this, you may place up to three logs here. And then for each of those logs that you have, uh, you get some points. So cool. And then... Only one person can get any of these victory points. Uh, these are the ones that are standard in the game. So three critters, you know, three... Uh, there's names for all these symbols. Uh, city monuments. Um, production cards, whatever. Uh, these are like wanderers. But anyway, so you, these are always in the game. And then these are uh, other ways at the end of the game where you can kind of trade resources... Uh, or cards in in for victory points at the end of the game, which is kind of interesting. And then these are just your basic like resource gathering. So the hardest resource to get um, is berries for some reason in this game. And these also change game to game. These like middle ones. But look at that. I can just gain a bunch of berries. There's like a, like a good resin spot. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop on the berry spot. All right, and so we could, if we wanted to, play Chip. Activate one green resource in your city, or green card. Or the Shepherd. Gain three, and then gain one victory point for each coin on your chapel. Um, don't really know if I want to do that right now. And then I can also buy the copy one in your opponent's city. And then I got another shepherd. Um, so I could, I guess I could copy that. And then also gain some resin. That'd be kind of interesting. Do the old mole. Yeah, I want that. Common critter. All right, so now I gotta think about. I need some more resources, really. Um, I could do logs and a card, but I think I have a max. You have a max number of cards in your hand. Um, let's just get resin. All right, so we can place a worker. Um, so I guess it's the difference that when we start in spring, the, the, the rounds of the game are going to change a little bit. All 
Um, any cards that I want to kind of work towards? I guess I need some stone. So let's just go ahead and grab up these resource spots. So I could play the crane. When playing a construction, you may discard this crane from your city to play that construction for three fewer resources. That's actually kind of nice. And I get to play the architect. It like, connects to the architect. Yeah, right there he is. So basically, uh, one victory point for each of your unused resin or stone to a maximum of six. That's at the end of the game. It's end game scoring. All right, let me just go ahead and whoop, drag this down. Now I can get this guy. So we'll go ahead and play him. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll confirm that we want to occupy. All right. Uh, place either three wood, three resin, three stone, or two berries on this storehouse from your supply. Take all resources on this card. Interesting. I'm not sure how I could... Oh, with the crane. Okay. Got it. Uh, we got the post office and the cemetery. You always want to kind of keep looking up at this. Because you do want to kind of buy the cards that, that kind of make sense. Like, I already got the mole. The minor mole. And there's minor mole. And if I got the lookout, I could collect a bunch of logs and then achieve this and get some victory points at the end of the game. Uh, so, if I see a lookout, I definitely want to get it. Um, definitely want to get some resource gathering going on. But again, like, do I really want to use up the crane? I mean, I, do we need something? I think I need something with a postal pigeon. So I could, I could play this. I, I don't, ah, oh, but the wood. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to use this right now. I mean, I guess if I was going to use it, I would want to maybe make it worth it. Like, I could play that for free if I get rid of this. Or I could just pay some resin and then have the, the ability to draw two cards with the fairgrounds. Oop, oop. I don't want to drag that. Um, interesting. Okay. All right, so now I have some fairgrounds. And I can play the fool for free. Play this fool into an empty space on an opponent's city. Minus two points. Well, I think Turtle, since you are who I would want to be, I guess I gotta do this first. And then Turtle, you get the minus two points, because you are a fool. Ya yeah, fool, Turtle. Hey, I'm no fool. Yes, you are. I wanted to be you. That sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. All right, so I can also do the ruins. You actually just reveal five cards. You may draw any or place any beneath this event. So I can get like five points with that guy. And also get some card draw. Discard a construction from your city. Gain resources equal to the construction's cost and then draw two cards. Hmm. It's like I only have one construction, but it would be kind of cool to get all those resources back. And it did help me play the fool. There we go. Because I have a full hand of cards anyway, right? All right, so we got the post office. Because I want to play that postal pigeon. Um, we also have a... We, oh, yeah, the peddler. Uh, you may pay up to two resources to gain an equal amount of resources. Oh, yes, this is a good one. That's, con that's, um, yeah. 
So we have a lot of this. So we want to get some berries. So let's receive some berries. And then we'll get rid of some resin. How about that? Okay. I mean, we, we still haven't gotten our workers back. Our workers are like, yo, we're still out there. But we still, we're able to do a lot of stuff, you know? We're still, we're still on this ride of, of productivity right now. All right. Let me, let's look up here. All right. And then let's look down here. We got a gatherer and a harvester, right? There's another that one that's like, if you have a lot of carns, uh, let's see, where is it? This guy. No, not this guy. This guy. The postal pigeon and the doctor. You know, you want these guys together. Uh, there's the historian. All right, so we can do the ruins and the historian. We got like, we got everything set up. All right, so this one is draw one card after you play a critter or construction. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, maybe I do want to play that. That's actually kind of nice. I like that. Um, but let's just see if there's anything that's a little better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Game one berry. If you have a farm in your city, gain an additional. Don't think I have a farm. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play this, this, uh, historian. And then we've got the max cards in our hand. The monastery. Uh, yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'll do the twig bridge. Maybe I'll do twig bridge. I bet someone who plays this game a lot is like screaming right now. Like, play this storehouse. I don't know. I just don't get it. I, I know it's a spot that I can put a worker. And I can take all that. But uh, other people could take all those resources. Oh, from the supply. Okay. Okay. So it's from the supply. So it's not, I'm not taking my resources. I mean, maybe that's a good card. Let's do it. And then... Uh, from the supply, wait, choose the resource token. Wait, choose the resource token to add to the storehouse. Oh, okay. Um, let's do wood. Let's do three wood. All right, where are we at now? So there's the turtle. So now, finally, I can prepare for the next season. And that's what's kind of cool about this game is that you, you don't need that. No one needed to wait for me to get out of spring. Like I, uh, I could do my own thing. It's kind of weird like that, how this game works. We're all in different seasons. We're all in different timelines. You know, it's like a, it's like a West world of a game where there's a, there's multiple timelines going on right now. And, you know, they all can kind of do what they want. All right, so I got to build up my resources again. Do I get my three wood? Why would I do that when there's a three wood spot there? Um, I do know that uh, I do like to have a lot of berries. Because, like, you know, berries are how you play people. So I'm going to go ahead and do some berry. That's just what I do. I, I It's my strategy. Because, as you notice, there's not a lot of, like, quick berry uh, build up. So I could play this activate one thing in my city. I do have, I guess I could throw some more stuff on that. Yeah, I don't really want to activate anything right now. Um, I don't really, I don't want to do that. Um, discard three cards from your, from the meadow, replenish them and draw one from the meadow. Unlocks a second cemetery. Um, I don't really think I see anything I want right now other than that farm. Maybe I can get some some wood action. Uh, so, me, uh, do I... I think I'm going to go ahead and take this wood spot. Because I think I get victory points. Where are we at? No. Let's wait till it's my turn again. We don't want to, like, 
interrupt the computer's turn. All right, let's go ahead and click the settings. Go to... I thought there was a way to get to the rule book. Log, view meadow cards, settings. Yeah, I thought there was a rule book somewhere. Wasn't there a rule book somewhere? Am I not seeing it? Oh, rules. There it is. Yeah, I was not seeing it. Um, so let me see. I think if they if they visit mine, this is why I love the rule book. If they visit mine, I think I get. I think I get. Um, yeah, even place worker destination card in your city or destination city of another player. Yeah, gains one victory point. So yeah, if they if they use mine. They get, I get a victory point, which is fine, right? That's good. All right. And then end game, just kind of let you guys know. This is the end game. There you go. Card index is kind of cool. All right. So let's go ahead and click back. And let's think about what we want to do. No one's placed anything up here yet. It's like, do I have the ruins? No, the ruins is there. Oh, the ruins is there. So I could get all the pieces for this when achieved reveal five cards yeah, i'll just throw them all under there you know i already got a hand of eight just throw them all under there yeah let's let's do that so i got to the store and i just got to build the ruins discard a construction from your city gain the resources equal to that construction's cost and then draw two cards do i have a construction i guess i could the only construction I have... Oh, no. Well... Hmm. Is it is it a May? No, it's like... A, you know, it's like you gotta do it. You gotta do it. If I gotta do it, then that would mean... Well, could I get... Oh, I already have the ruins, dummy. I just don't... Ha do I have the historian? Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, then, what am I doing here? Let's just go ahead and do this. Get five victory points for the end of the game. All right, so choose any number of cards. Any not drawn be, be worth victory points. Um, let's just double check, make sure there's nothing exciting. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I go back? Uh, okay, no. I remember wrong. I thought the castle was something I wanted to build. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip. Look at that, 13 victory points. I'm still on pace with the computer that knows that you're, that kind of lets you know that you're doing okay, but they're also like seasons ahead of me. So of course they're probably gonna have more points than me. Um, do I want to do a farm? I don't know. Farms do seem useful. They gain me berries and I'm definitely a berry player. Loving the berry. Let's go ahead and do a berry. The berry builder. Do I have any way? Uh, I could get some more. Could get some more berries. Um, how is this linked? Oh, the farm. I just don't see any harvesters. Um, let's see. Do I? I got. Oh yeah, I got that. Oh, I could throw that up there. Yeah, I'm gonna place a worker up there get even more victory points I mean if I can play it for free I might as well just play it yes confirm all right come on turtle take your turn I know you're a turtle but let's go all right um Hey, you know, while we're here, if you're here, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you like this content, or please comment. I want to get better at this game. Like, let me know how to play this game well. Like, I, I know that I'm just, I'm basically, here's how I play. Here's my strategy. And you can let me know if I'm full crap. So, I normally try to use this as, like, my strategy. So, I kind of build around these. So, like, these are, like, the cards that I care about this game. 
And then I also kind of like, you know, if these become available to me because like I'm buying cards, let's say I'm like one away and I have an opportunity to build a card, like I'll build another one of these just to grab those three points. And I always also try to keep my hand up to the max of eight. So I just have a lot of options going on. Maybe I should be cycling my cards more, you know, kind of like what Turtle's doing here to gain resources, you know, and then drawing. I don't, I don't know. I, I like having a lot of cards. I like having berries um, because I feel like that's how you play a lot of these character cards. Now, you can play characters for free if you have the constructions. And so, like, some people, I guess there's a strategy where you get the wood, the resin, and the, and the stone. You know, stone being a rare resource because you only get one spot, one stone. I think earlier in the video I said that one of the other resources is rare. No, it's stone that's rare. Um, but yeah, my strategy is like build around these to get victory points because these normally give you a lot. Grab these when you can. It, you know, I don't like waste time trying to get these because they, they usually just kind of happen on their own. Um, I don't really look a lot at what the computer's doing that much. Um, yeah, maybe I should, you know, especially when they have spots that I could visit. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I play this game. And I, I don't think I've won against the computer yet. Uh, come close, but, but never, I never consistently win. So I, obviously there's something flawed in my strategy, but yeah, that, that's where we're at. Okay. So let's just look real quick. Make sure we're not kind of stepping into, yeah, I do have the flower, but that's not uh, a spot up here because those, those are also just end game scoring cards. Um, but I could, I could do the peddler and I could move, oh, you know what? Maybe I will do this. Yes. And then we're going to move this to the stone spot. How's that? After I said it was rare, you know? All right, so we could do the woodcutter for free because we have the storehouse that no one's used yet because no one cares about wood, apparently. Uh, you may pay up to three wood to gain a victory point each. Okay, um, if I had a worker, I would have totally got more wood. Well, I guess I could play the twig bridge and gain two wood. Now that I got my stone. Okay, so let's do that. And then let's play this guy. And I'll get two victory points. It's up to three anyway. So this will give me four victory points. Wait. How? Let me click no. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so it's just, it's just, that's a weird, it's like, I can't though, you know? Why would it warn me when I can't? Okay, um, that was weird. All right, so I could play the Undertaker just to kind of like throw this out. Um, Monastery, no. So I'm really looking for, let's zoom out. I need to like. Courthouse Ranger. I do have the Ranger now, so if I did get the Courthouse, I could do this. And I could throw some critters under it. I do have a lot of critters. I'm very critter heavy right now. Um, so I'm really looking for the Courthouse. So let's... Um, let's do the Undertaker. I don't know if I want to do it from my hand... Yeah, let's do it for my hand. Uh, and then we'll get rid of this guy. I don't really care about the cha chapel. Harvester. I'm not going that route. Alright, and then choose one card to draw from the meadow. Oh, yeah, okay, so I could do that. Alright, um, let me check. Did I screw that up? Where's, where's the Undertaker? Okay, it is just draw one because I was like, oh, was I at max? I could have drawn more. All right, do I see anything that really speaks to me? 
Okay, mate. Uh, ooh, the bird. The bard. You may discard up to five cards and gain one victory point each. I feel like that might be good. That might be good. There is the theater, though. So I could grab the theater. All right, let's try this. So I'm gonna have to now finally move into winter. Is Mouse like done the game? Done with the game? All right, choose a production. Oh yeah, that's right. When we're in winter, okay. So I could do that. I don't need to do that. That still has some wood on it. Um, I can copy an opponent's. I may pay up to two resources and convert them. Don't really want to do that right now. Um, and then this one is you may pay up to three to gain. Ooh, do I want to do that and get some more victory points? No, because I need. I want to build. Um, so let's look at the opponents and see what they got. Um, they don't really have anything worthwhile. Hmm. Whoop. Didn't want to do that. Um. Oh. Let's see. This one's this is tough. Okay, I guess I'll do that. And then I can maybe convert the berry into wood. And then try to get resin and stone. Now I'm gonna convert the berry into stone. Can I do that? Can I do that with this? Uh let's find out. Yeah, okay, berry into stone. That's that's a crazy. All right, and then just in case. Well, I can choose another one. I don't think the opponents have... Oh, no, they do. Okay. You may pay up to three to gain... Nah. Nah. Ugh, same crap. Same crap as me. You know? Well, I guess... Maybe I will do that. Wait, did I... Did I give him the victory points? Where's my... I, why... Are you, what? What? This game is weird. Did you see that? Whatever. That is weird. I thought it would be like, oh, I get the, I'll, I'll just use theirs. And then I'll gain the victory points. But it looks like it gave the turtle. What is, that is, that's funny. I wish there was an undo, but there isn't. There is no undo. The only undo is resign. You ever make a mistake so bad in a game, you're like, dang it, I want to resign. Can I maybe do it in the log? Is there a, is there a uh, undo in the log? No. Okay, let's just read what happens here. So I'm Hedgehog. Yeah, it says Hedgehog gains two victory points. I, but I... Right? Hedgehog uses Woodcarver. To discard two wood for two victory points, hedgehogs. I don't. I don't think I had twenty three. I think there's a bug. Is this a bug? I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. All right. So let's do this. I don't think this will do anything. Uh, choose. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, resin. Is it gonna have both of those on there now? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a good spot. I like that. 
All right. Uh, everyone else has done the game. They're like waiting for me. How annoying would this be? They're like, dude, just can you can you just like please, can you please just be done? Um, and it's like no, because turtle, I need to beat your bottom. Uh, let's choose up the five cards. So I'm not really into chip right now. So let's get kind of drag. Oh, I gotta drag them there. Um, not really into the cemetery. Oh, the queen. Play a card worth up to three money for free. Oh, queen. Um, don't really need the shepherd. Um, oh, the palace for each unique construction. Uh, worth one point. Uh, and then the inn. Uh, this is, hmm. Let's... That's, mm, I don't know what to do. I'm already winning, I guess. Maybe. All right, so let's confirm that. Ooh, we got the bridge toad. Let's go ahead and play that. It's worth one victory point. All right, place a worker. Um. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that one. Get three victory points. Let me zoom in. I, I gotta enhance. Zoom and enhance. All right. Uh, place a worker. Um, where do I want to place the worker? I wish I had the courthouse. Do not have the courthouse though. Oh, this will give me five points. So I gotta get some resin and some wood. How many workers do I have left? Four. All right, so let's let's go ahead and do this one, so I can at least draw a card. Let's do some resin. Can I play, or do I already have the school? I don't have the school, do I? Why can't I play that? Two wood, two resin, or is my or is my tableau full? Am I at my limit? I thought the game just ends if you're at your limit. You know? Alright, discard a card equal to the number on this. Discard uh, discard cards equal to the number of victory points on this location. The full worker is worth that much points at the end of the game. Um, I don't know why I can't build anymore. I th I think it I think there is a max gameplay rules. I wish there was a button like why can't I get this like I have to go in the menu. Um Yeah, city. Oh yeah, maximum of 15 spaces. Each card takes up one space. Events do not count against 15 card limit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, there we go. That answers that question. So let's go ahead and discard the cards. Drag, drag, drag. Just dragging cards. Confirm. Weird. What is going on? Like I, I always struggled with this game, and I feel like I'm winning. All right, so I think we get victory points for... I'm just going to try to get the highest score possible while I'm at it, right? All right, so I think we get victory points for having resources. Um, right? Why is it not telling me the end game scoring? Is it in the how to play? No. Overview? Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to read. So we'll, ju we'll find out. We'll find out. I, I really do. I think it's... Um, what is this down here? I don't remember ever seeing this. Oh yeah, these are my... Uh, These are my uh, things that I gotten. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um, 
Let's just go ahead and get some more wood, I guess. And then pass. And then there we go. So, uh, I won. So we get... Yeah, so we do get points for remaining resources. We get 10. So how did that go? 7, 8, 9, 10. So basically all... That's that's kind of weird. So all resources are worth one point at the end of the game. So like really, they just get whatever you can get. Um, so like wood was a good option because I got three, and then you get the you know points from the events uh, combined. That's kind of okay, and then uh, victory points total. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, so I beat it. Uh, interesting. I'm not sure where the events are that I got the three points from. What did the computer do? Yeah, okay, so I, for some reason I got three points from events. I'm not sure what event I played. I can't remember. Um, these aren't events, are they? Yeah, these are. But I claimed that event. But then why didn't this one trigger? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. This needs to be explained better. Anyway, so I won. It doesn't matter. So there we go. Um, I go back to the challenge menu. So what's kind of cool is now this is unlocked, and it's really just beat it again on heroic difficulty. Um, oh, you only... Oh, God. So not only is it the AI would be harder, but only you start in spring instead of winter so wow that's that's nuts so that, that is definitely at a disadvantage so that is a true challenge right there spring into action on heroic mode i think if we blue play this again we'll just do all these you know i'll just kind of go down this list uh until you guys are completely bored of this game and stop watching these videos uh, i'll just go down this list and we'll just keep trying all these challenges out um but yeah this is pretty fun i really liked it i feel like the, I'm going to have to rewatch the video and see if it gave the points to the turtle. I really think it did, but maybe my brain just misremembers that maybe I did have 23 points. Uh, but I feel like the turtle had 30 and I had 25. And I felt like I should have got those points. But anyway, uh, this was Everdale. I really do love this game. Um, haven't quite figured it out yet, but I that's why I love board games. Because, like... You know, it's like you play them to get better and, and you can get better. So uh, anyway, come back and we'll play some more Everdale in the future. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe.